Hey y'all, I'm Cody with the Big Ben Fungi Company. Today I'm going to show you how I built my humidifier. The first thing you're going to want to do is take your hole saw, heat it up however you do it. I'm not going to show you how to do it. I actually don't recommend doing this. Uh, there's probably a better way. I heat up my hole saw find the center of the lid it's typically marked it's got a little indention there and push this right on through so I got my hole right there and you, you'll be able to push it all the way through once it's heated up you'll also want to do the same uh, you'll need an inlet for your pecs to uh, be able to go through like so. So you'll need to find something that's the same size, heat it up, push it through there. As I mentioned earlier, I use the knockout. You can use a uh, socket that's the same size, uh, whatever will work. Then you'll take your uh, three or four inch closet flange without the test cap, set it over your lid like so you can find the center where it looks nice and even all around just like that and at this point we'll take our 3 16 drill bit and we'll drill are four holes so when you're all done you put your hole in the middle you centered your uh, closet flange over that you drilled your four holes which are already in the closet flange so that's how you know where to drill your holes you came up with the uh, bolts and you put your nuts on top and that's what you got right there so now what you need to do and again this is optional is to uh, seal this right here on the inside with uh, silicone you're going to need to uh, put your hole in for your pecs for that three quarter inch pecs so again just find something that's the same size as this pecs heat it up push a push a hole through uh, or you can use the knockout parts list so for the pecs you'll need a piece that's one foot a piece that's an inch and a half and a piece that's three inches okay so what you're going to want to do is your foot long piece uh you're going to go want to go ahead and put your three quarter inch uh pecs to your three quarter inch female mpt and go ahead and put it in there put the crimp ring on and set that piece to the side then you'll go ahead and make uh, this piece right here which is your inch and a half piece your three inch piece uh, two 90 degree elbows two pec pex rings one here one here and then this is again your three quarter inch uh, pex to three quarter inch MPT female and that's your three inch piece right there pex ring pex ring go ahead and crimp all this together so that you end up with this piece and crimp all this together so that you end up with this piece and then what you're going to want to go ahead and do is get a pex ring ready go ahead and take your lid and we're going to want to slide our piece of uh through our hole just like that so that all our fittings are on the downside and there is our hole like that we'll go ahead and put that pex ring on we can put our uh, the other side of our fitting on it now and we'll go ahead and crimp that we can just slide that pex ring back up and we'll go ahead 
and crimp that on there and it needs to be done like this because once you put this part together you won't be able to take it off there we go and then we'll go ahead and slide that down so that our PEX ring fits on top of it just like so just like that and uh, now you can go ahead and Teflon tape both your valve there at the top so at the end of the lid this is what you've got you've got your closet flange on top with your hole cut out you've siliconed it you put your nuts and bolts in you've made your PEX piece You've got your valve in here just like that and this is the complete lid piece all right so the next thing you'll need to do is put a hole hundred and fifteen millimeters into your brute can now my hole in particular the bottom of my hole the bottom of my hole is 11 inches from the bottom of my can so from here to right here the bottom of my hole is 11 inches and then I just centered it right there same thing heated it up pushed it through and that will be your hole for your fan in the can now the reason I did it like this is because I found it it flowed the humidity well and for the lid I liked it like this because it helps support you have some weight on it coming however you're getting into your grow room you have some weight on this lid so the way it is in the center of this lid and the way this lid is built um, it still has some stability but if we put another hole in this lid another big hole the lid might become a little flimsy so I just did it in the can and although it does put a hole in your can it's alright um, that's just the way it is it's got a directional flow so it, uh, this is the air flows through the fan like this uh, so you'll want to put it so where it's pushing into the can and uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is line this up right over your uh, hole right there and then you're going to want to go ahead and take a sharpie or something to mark it with and you're going to want to mark all four of your corner holes you'll take this off then you can use your uh, 3 16 uh, drill and drill out all the spots that you marked your hole just like so alright so once you've got all your holes marked and drilled out you can just take uh, your two bolts and these uh, nuts and bolts are included with the fan I like to do it same thing I push these uh, bolts through from the back make sure my fan is facing the right way that means the direction of the flow should be into your uh, can then I take it and line it up just like so so once you got all your bolts pushed push through you go ahead and slide your fan on make sure uh, the direction of the fan is blowing towards the can and then the fan also came with one of these screens I'm gonna go ahead and place one on the uh, on the outside and that's just to keep the larger debris like moss and things off of out of it because I'm not gonna put a filter on it I don't think it's uh, necessary at this point you're certainly welcome to add a filter or some type of screen or a cloth filter 
or maybe even like a hairnet over there or something would work. Uh, I just haven't found it to be necessary. All right, so once you got that all put together, the last thing you're gonna do is take your foam tape and you're gonna wanna wrap a piece all the way around the top of your seal on your can and leave yourself about a one inch gap right there so you can put some wires through. I've got my uh, disc fogger all assembled and ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that right there in the bottom and put that cord right through where I left that little uh, where I left that little gap on uh, on my foam tape. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take my lid, double check it's all assembled. We got our valve down here, foot long piece, everything's crimped, elbow inch and a half piece, crimp, crimp, elbow, three inch piece, crimped, adapter, garden hose adapter, it's Teflon taped, it's ready to go. And on this lid you'll want to line up the, uh, the handles and go ahead and, uh, you know, don't, don't mess up your foam tape, make sure you got it on there right. And we can go ahead and put all that in and we'll go ahead and check where our uh, valve is looks good to me and uh, now we're gonna go ahead and uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and hook it up so here's the deal this is a little extra but what you're going to want to do is take your variable speed controller and I'll go ahead and put this back up here but you'll take your variable speed controller you'll take your variable speed controller you'll hook it into your fan and we can just go ahead and place it on the top right there for now then you'll go ahead and take your three outlet extension cord and uh, the way I do it is the humidifier itself so the disc fogger is going to go into one of these cords the fan is going to go into another port and then you have that third port option for a light. Some people do some type of uh, cleaning aquarium light. I do as well. Uh, and so that third port leaves an option for that. Then on this port right here, this will go into work one of your humidifier. So on your uh, ink bird humidity controller, You will put, you will plug the end of this cord, humidity controller, you will plug the end of this cord into work one so that when it calls for humidity, it turns on the fan and the fogger, which is what you need. All right, y'all, so now you can take your garden hose, turn your water on. Typically, I have that hooked up to a uh, pressure regulator. And that pressure regulator is set to about 10 PSI. All right, so these variable speed fans, you'll just need to set them to the speed that you want, and then that's it. It'll come on every time everything else comes on. And that's it.